Welcome to my video lesson. Our topic is all about techniques in teaching mathematics, drill and practice. Within the school system, teachers are the most important factor contributing to student achievement. Teachers who have mastered effective approaches and strategies in teaching mathematics can help increase students' mathematical knowledge and improve math out. So one technique in teaching mathematics is drill and practice. So drill and practice, it is a technique of instruction in teaching method. This technique is absolutely necessary for the memorization of math facts. Drill is a way to revise a lesson that has already been taught. It is a means to strengthen the knowledge already acquired. Another, it is a discipline and repetitious exercise used as a means of teaching and perfecting a skill or procedure. Now, what is the difference between practice and drill? Practice is to repeat an activity as a way of improving one skill in that activity, while drill is to create a whole by removing material with a tool. So, similar to memorization, Drill and practice involves repetition of specific skills, such as spelling or multiplication. So what are the advantages of drill and practice? First, it is motivating. So our 21st century learners is not a passive learner. So most of the students are motivated to participate because they find it enjoyable. Second, drill and practice strengthening the knowledge of students. Third, it provides immediate feedback. So right after or during the drill, we as a teacher already know if our students learned something about the topic. And the last one, it helps the teacher to know the weakness of the students and provide individual attention to them. So aside from the advantages, there are also precautions in regard to drill and exercises. First, drill work should not be boring. Second, drill work should be properly planned. And the last one, drill work should not be given as punishment. So what are the examples of drill practice? Okay, first is the flashcards for learning math facts. So students choose an answer and then the program gives feedback. Second, computer games for practicing basic skills. These are more sophisticated and the next question is determined by whether the question at hand was answered correctly or not. The third one is homework worksheets for practicing skills at home. Fourth is the game hidden picture. So it instructs the students to solve numerical math problems to view the photo. If solved incorrectly, the students must repeat the problem. And another example of drill and practice L is the algebra planet blaster. So the objective is to solve an algebra problem to save the earth. If solved correctly, the earth is saved. If not, the Earth or another planet is destroyed. So as a conclusion, a math teacher need not to be a scientist in order to appropriately and adequately apply the science principle and scientific methods in teaching. A creative math teacher using creative teaching methods has a chance to develop in his students' creative characteristics. Therefore, as a 21st century teachers, we have to think techniques in teaching mathematics that will cater the needs of our 21st century learners. That's all. Thank you. And I hope that you have learned something about my lesson or topic.